conducted this study for since 2011, we've been growing the uh, top 20 varieties in the high plains under different irrigation levels, from dry land to limited irrigation to the full irrigation conditions. Well, in terms of weed management under very limited water conditions, what we learned from this study is the, the first thing you need to consider is you have to have a good soil water profile to start with. Uh, the soil water storage is, is always important for your, mani for your weed management under very limited water conditions or dry land conditions. So what the uh, practice in the, uh, you can do is the uh, fallow as well as the residue management that will improve the, uh, your soil water sto storage to start with. So once you get the uh, very good soil water to start with, the variety selection is a very important issue for your management. You have to use the uh, uh, better adapted and the new varieties for your wheat production. So what we, from this study, what we learned in the last few years is all these newer, improved varieties, they always have better ability to extract soil water, especially from the deeper soils. That is very important. Well, how do you get there to uh, deep soil to get the water? Another important thing we learned for these new varieties they always have ability to produce more forage at the early stage. This is probably important for your grazing, but as well as important for get to the plants to the uh, deeper soil to extract the water. So if you have a good rainfall or better irrigation conditions, the newer varieties also be able to use water more effectively. So that's the, uh, the water management for the uh, very limited conditions. Well, if you have a good water, if you have the uh, very well watered wheat, another thing you need to consider is like this year, the disease resistance is a very important issue for well watered wheat. Some of these new varieties, they have a better package of the uh, disease resistance that can be a better options as well. Why the variety make difference? I give you an example. In a drought year like 2011, time 105 are relatively old varieties. In our plots, they only probably yield 10 bushels. Time 12, this is the newer variety, it can get 15 bushels. That's 10 bushels and 15 bushels is huge difference under extremely dry conditions. 2011. Back to 2016, the variety difference is still is significant. The older varieties you are looking at probably only 30 to 40 bushels. But some of our newer varieties like Time 140, you can get 60 bushels. So it's, you, you, you have 10 to 20 bushels difference. That is a huge difference in terms of large area. That makes the difference of the adopted the newer varieties.